Hello everyone, and welcome to what is probably going to be one of the best Let's Build series I have done so far. I say that because 1. I'm building a trailer park consisting of boxcars and capsules, and 2. I haven't posted a video in a couple of weeks since I was in the process of moving, so I felt bad and wanted to bring you guys something pretty cool. A uh, quick note, I have upgraded my setup, and I got a new video editing software which allows me to do things like this. <laughs> Among others, such as add in background music and sound effects. So, you know, I hope these changes will help keep a steady flow in my videos and make them more entertaining all the way through. You know, instead of it just being me talking over the default in game ambience or whatever. But having said that, let's get right into it. Okay, so you're gonna see me use a combination of the capsules and the boxcars. Now the boxcars came from the Contraptions DLC, and the capsules came from the Snap and Build mod. And I wanted to use both because, first, you know, you get a good variety when building, but also wanted to show you that it can be done using just one of these. So for those of you who don't use mods or don't have access to mods, you can build this whole thing with just the boxcars. You just have to use different structures like wood, metal, and concrete to make them all look a little different from each other. Kind of like what I'm doing here, I'm adding in this prefab to make a doorway and then seal off the uh, rest of the boxcar with the wooden walls and then I think I used the boxcar door as another option too. But each of these that I'm building is going to look a little different from each other just so it doesn't look repetitive. Now I'm going to place the stairs and the door. Okay, and that side is good for now. Over here we're going to change up the color because we already used blue. And I'm going to try to get this right on the border because I think in part two I'm going to try to put a wall all the way around the settlement using the boxcars right on the border as part of it. But yeah, on this side I'm going to use the smaller capsule and boxcar pieces to attach to this larger one. Uh, all of these pieces snap together perfectly which makes it so much easier to do a lot of different things with them. Like watch, just, yep, just snaps in, no problem. Uh, this boxcar piece does two, but I wanted to use the one that has the support beams at the end of it, because I think it looks a little more stable, but it was just not having it. Just, nope, nope, not going in. Uh-uh. Doesn't matter what you do. Yeah, let's go on the inside. Nope. Nope, still not going in, which is fine. We'll just go back to the other one. It looks good. And we can use the concrete pillar to sink all of this into the ground so it doesn't look like it's hovering. You just select the concrete pillar right next to it and then hold the action button and just sink it down. And there we go. Okay, so, oh, you see those little things floating around? Those are just there to help me remember where everything was. I usually build my settlements before I record them. That way you guys don't have to see me figure out where everything should go. But yeah, this is going to be the governor's house? The the, the mayor's place? Uh, just like the leader, the, the main person, the main dude, or woman, whichever, is going to be their place. So I'm going to make it a little bit larger and I'm putting it in the middle of the community. Uh, and you notice that the boxcar pieces just snap together perfectly, even the larger ones, which is so refreshing when trying to build different things. So I'm going to place a door in the back and have a concrete power door in the front. Uh, keep in mind, this is just part one, so this is just me adding in all of the structures wherever I want them, and then part two is where I usually go in and kind of bring the place to life and add in all the small little details. I just love these ramps because they are so forgiving and will just go anywhere that you put them. And they look fantastic too, so well done, Bethesda, well done. This next part, you're going to see me fuck around with the pillars quite a bit, so let me just speed this up. So now that that nightmare is over, on to the second one, which is putting a concrete wall right here, 
because I didn't want to use another boxcar piece. I wanted it to look a little bit different, which it decided to take forever. So yeah, be right back. Okay, so I wanted to go back over here real quick and put a doorway in just to show you that even with the capsule being snapped to the boxcar here, you can put this doorway in and then fill up the gaps so there's no holes. See? Really nice. Anyways, over here we're going to fix the crappy house that is stuck right over there that we can't do anything with. Um, before anyone says anything, this is no response technique. This wasn't mine. He did it in one of his, um, I think it was Tim Pine's video, I will link it in the description. But yeah, this is not my method, he uh, he showed this a while back and it's genius, it works well, so uh, if you haven't seen it for whatever weird reason, check it out. Um, and again, this is, this is not my method, I'm not stealing it from anyone, just saying <laughs> before anyone starts going, hey, he, uh, he took this. No, it's not mine. But it does work very well, especially with the smaller wall pieces. I put the concrete floor in the middle. That way, um, whenever I put these roofs on, it, I kind of fill in the gap because I'm going to have a roof overhanging a little bit, kind of like from my upgraded house video. And it works pretty well. The, the roofs actually snap to this smaller wooden wall piece here from the Snap and Build mod. You see how it snaps? It's actually snapping to the wall, not to the roof piece. I did the middle part first because it was going to be more difficult to try to squeeze in once these roofs were up here. Get in there. Okay. Have it your way. There we go. So now to fill in those gaps on the roof, you can add in a railing. Snaps to the floor and there you go. Perfect. And now you can use the concrete pillar, the same kind of glitch that we did earlier to sink something into the ground. You just get it very close and hold the action button, select everything, and then you can just squeeze it in there. I'm not going to explain this whole process just because it wasn't mine, so I'll have the link to Davey's video in the description if you guys want to see how this is done properly. It does take a minute to get it in there perfectly, so just a sec. And there we go, just going to check it out on both sides, looks good. It's not going to be perfect, but it looks a lot better than what we had before. So now I'm just going to place pillars on both sides and then finish decorating it in part two. Okay, so over here is going to be the marketplace, which is a lot of fun and looks really cool. It can just be a bit tricky in some areas. So I'm going to use the box cars that have the beams underneath them for a couple different reasons. Uh, we have this bush, crappy looking area that sticks through, so I'm going to raise it up a little bit higher. That way it's, it's not completely through the floor. And it looks pretty cool, it gives it a little bit of character and we can add in like a cool entryway with some stairs or whatever. So same thing that I'm doing here, I'm just going to have this one a little bit lower to the ground and then we can add in some smaller stairs there. And this piece I wanted it to be very close to the blue one so that way it looks very cuddly and tucked in right over there. I do add some more to the orange box car, um, but I'll come back to it in just a second once I put these capsules down. Um, I'm using the capsules just, to, again, to add in some variety. For those of you who don't use mods, you can add in another boxcar right here. Just make it look a little different. I do have a little bit of trouble getting this capsule in so close to the floor, so I'm just going to take a quick second and get it in there. And there we go. So the best thing about the capsules is that they will pretty much snap any way that you put them. So I have a smaller capsule back there attached to a larger one, and then I can place a larger one here in between the two. They also have some pretty cool pieces that will put a wall in between the two so you won't have that gap right there. 
you can just tell that they put a lot of thought into which pieces that we're going to need to give us more flexibility when building, which I greatly appreciate. So yeah, this is looking pretty good. And then I placed that wall here. There it is. And last wall back here. Doesn't look like it's going to snap, but it will. And there it is. So this door doesn't really snap in right here, but it is pretty forgiving, so you can pretty much just make it work. So I'm going to switch these two end pieces right here because I'm going to put a ladder at the end that leads to a guard post kind of walkway on top. So. But first I'm going to add to this side by attaching a middle piece and another box car to this one. And there we go. On this side, I'm going to add some scaffolding and have a ladder attached to it, which is going to lead to the guard walkway up top. Okay, and up here, I'm just going to place down some scaffolding floor which looks great, um, and they all snap together pretty well, so I just kind of randomly throw them together just to make it look a little more scrappy, like something that they would put together. And now I'm going to do the same thing on this one. Basically, I'm just creating a path all the way through the top part of this. And these floors work pretty well. You see how it's allowing me to move it around. I just got to line it up. The only problem that I ran into was placing the ladders down. Yeah. So this piece of shit decided it wanted to take forever, and I had to, yet again, cut the video. And there we go. All better. Now I'm just going to place the rest of the walkway along here and then place the handrails. Now keep in mind with the handrails, I'm going to switch between concrete and the scaffolding handrails just to make it look a little different uh, across the entire thing. there we have it, all ready for part two where I'm going to add in the guard post. So on this side I'm going to place a greenhouse and put these two buildings in front of it so the back, the uh, boxcar is where I think they're going to live, one for the bed and all that, and then the front part is where they're going to sell all of the food from, so kind of like a farmer's market. Which uh, I thought was a pretty cool idea and I'm excited to see how that turns out. So building the greenhouse is pretty straightforward, just using the warehouse pieces. Um, I'm going to do mainly, actually yeah, all glass walls around it. Uh, the reason for that is, since it's so small, I wanted to really give off the impression of a greenhouse and figured that I would give it really weird angles, kind of like what I'm doing now. Just because I don't have a lot of room, but still want it to look pretty cool. And I think it comes out pretty good. We're just switching between the broken windows and then the non-broken ones. 
And for the roofs, I'm um, doing the same thing, the broken and non-broken. See how I switch it, there we go. And instead of doing the flat one, I do the one that kind of has a peak to it. Uh, I think that just gives it a little bit more character. See, it looks a little bit nicer. And then just add in the door and some stairs, and you got yourself a greenhouse. Now I'm just going to finish off the back. I'm going to put in one of these metal walls for the window. There we go. And then I'm just going to finish off the capsule here. Uh, this didn't glitch out. It's just part of one of the mods. It takes forever to load up when I click the wrong thing, like so. Um, but there we go. Okay. And yeah, I'm just going to finish off the front here. Um, there's, there's not a lot that I can do as far as adding in a front door. It's all pretty much the same piece. But it still turns out pretty cool. Okay, so on this side, I'm just going to place another capsule real quick. So it looks like a normal capsule, right? Although I left this door open so I can put in a an outhouse, which I didn't think was going to work, but it totally did and it worked perfectly. Just watch. Beautiful. And before moving on, I just want to show it off a little bit. Look at it. Look at it. So sexy. Okay. Never thought I would say that about an outhouse. Anyway, moving on to the next capsule. I went ahead and put this blue box car down. It just took some time. I used the same concrete pillar glitch and I just kind of moved it in there and sunk it down to the ground. But now I'm going to attach these capsules around it and I'm pretty much kind of making like a, a duplex type thing, I guess. I just try to think of different buildings or houses that I've seen and work them into whatever thing that I'm working with. This part takes some time so I'm just going to speed it up. In this part here, since there's a little bit of a gap right there, I'm going to use one of the the wood pieces that I used a lot. It was, um, which one was it? It was like this little end. This one, these are pretty forgiving, so I'm just going to move this capsule out and then get it where I want it. There we go, and then I can snap the capsule back and it's pretty close. There we go. Now just add some stairs and that should do it. Now one of the last parts here, uh, actually I think this one turned out a lot cooler than the other ones as far as the entrance goes. I'm just going to place in one of the blue boxcars here, add in the back to it, very very simple. And now to add in the scaffolding as kind of like the little roof area. So I'm going to use the smaller one, and you see the four that I'm going to use, so it matches the same size of the scaffolding. And you want to get it as close as you can, uh, which that looks pretty good. And Actually, I'm going to do the, the doorway first. So place this in. This is from the Snap and Build mod. Place in the doorway, and then get this back because I didn't want there to be any problems later. And there we go, pretty close. Now, I had a good bit of trouble getting the floor back into it, which, you guessed it, I had to cut the video while I worked on it. And there we are. Just add in the rooftop. There we go, and then these stairs. Perfect. And then, yeah, once we add in some lights and all that, it's going to look really cool in that corner right there. And this is the last little part. I noticed that this was a bit empty, or it didn't have 
the containers or capsules so I just want to keep it consistent throughout the entire settlement so I'm just going to throw one of these in and then some capsules off to the side There we go. So before we go, I wanted to show off this mod. It's called Pocket Vehicles. And it's really good for console players who want to get a better view of their settlements. Um, obviously this is not what you use it for, but I absolutely love being able to kind of get the satellite view of what I just built. Because it allows me to see what's missing and where I can improve on. And plus, look at that view, it actually looks like it could be something within the game, which I absolutely love seeing. But I just wanted to show this mod off to you, uh, it's actually pretty cool. If you go too quickly, it will um, freeze and lag up the game because the game's not meant for you to move that quickly, it needs to load everything up. But I do appreciate you guys stopping by, sorry that it took so long to get another video out to you, but I'm settled in and I have a much better setup, so recording videos is a lot easier and quicker for me, so hopefully I'll have more content for you throughout the week instead of just the one day. But thanks again, please give this video a like, subscribe to my channel, and have a good one.